My name is Grant Golub, and I'm going into the third year of my PhD here in the Department of International History at LSE. And I was born in New York, but I grew up in Sarasota, Florida in the United States. Very broadly, I'm a historian of U.S. foreign policy and grand strategy and also Anglo-American relations. And my dissertation looks at uh, a man named Henry Stimson, the War Department, and what I call the politics of American grand strategy during World War II. And what I'm interested in uh, sort of determining with my dissertation is looking at how executive branch agencies and the broader executive branch of the United States government influence American foreign policy and grand strategy. So because I'm doing a topic on American history, naturally most of the archives, uh, if not all of them, are located in the United States. So Henry Stimson's papers are located at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. That's a main source for me. Uh, the U.S. National Archives and the Library of Congress in the Washington, D.C. area, the FDR Library in upstate New York, and various other smaller archives found throughout the United States have really been the important sources of information and research for my dissertation. The U.K. National Archives are also an excellent source as well um, for, for illuminating a lot of the topics that I'm talking about. And of course, during the pandemic, online sources have been absolutely crucial. The department provides 400 pounds every year to help with research expenses, so I've been trying to use that with whatever way possible uh, in order to help defray research costs. Uh, during my first year of the PhD, I was also very, very lucky to receive a 2,500 pound grant from the LSE US Center to help me conduct archival research in the United States. I did my master's here as well um, in the Department of International History. I did that from 2017 to 2018 after I finished my undergraduate degree at Princeton University. And I had not really been planning to do a PhD, but uh, I took Matthew Jones's nuclear history course that year and I absolutely loved it. And I really, really enjoyed him. He was a fantastic teacher. He's a fantastic professor. And I did my master's dissertation with him and he really encouraged me to go on to a research degree, a doctoral degree, because he thought that I would be really, it was something I would excel in. So that sort of planted the idea in my head. And because I had such a wonderful experience here in our department, I felt that LSE would be a, a great place for me. So I decided to come back to the UK. I took a year out. Uh, I went to New York and I did some consulting. I came back to the UK in September 2019 to, to start my PhD. And so that time in between my master's and my PhD, I was in constant communication with Matthew, who was helping me prepare my application uh, for the PhD here. Well, I think the most challenging part of my research has been grappling with the pandemic, which I think has been difficult for all of us in, in various different ways. But because I haven't been able to access archives for the last you know, roughly 17 to 18 months, it's been really difficult to carry on my research. Thankfully, on the other hand, though, because I'm doing a topic related to the Second World War, a lot of primary sources are published in books that are available online, which has made doing the dissertation possible throughout the pandemic. But I think now moving back into the archives, the most difficult thing for me is trying to uh, make the case that I'm saying something new and different about one of the most historically researched topics in human history. And I think I have that unique angle, but uh, the difficulty is making that case to maybe perhaps more skeptical audiences. After graduation, uh, I intend to either apply for jobs in academia or uh, get a job hopefully in, in policy making perhaps in, in Washington uh, in, in the United States. And I was doing communications consulting um, and some management consulting when I was in New York, but there's a lot of different types of consulting work. Uh, perhaps political consulting or, or lobbying I think would be something that is of more interest to me.